Hey, hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm about to share with you how you can migrate your WordPress website from your local computer or from your current web hosting to a brand new web hosting without spending any money on developers or any paid plugins. So I recently moved my websites from SiteGround to Bluehost. So I have literally gone through this process myself and I will share with you how you can do this as well without spending any money. So without further ado, Let's get started. So the first step in migrating your WordPress website is going to the dashboard. So you just need to log into your WordPress account and go to dashboard. And once you're in your dashboard, hover over plugins and click on add new. So for migrating a website, most people recommend using this plugin called all in one. And this is the plugin that most people recommend. Let me just install it. I'm not going to recommend you using this plugin and I will tell you why. Let me just activate it. So after you're activating this plugin, you can see you got this icon that says all in one migration. And once you go to import, so what you need to do, you need to, you need to export it and then import it. It says the maximum upload file is 256. Okay. So if your website is less than 256 megabytes, that's all good. But in most cases, a simple website is going to be more than 256 megabytes. Okay. Maybe it's like 500 megabytes. So in this case, you need to pay for this plugin. You need to get the unlimited version to be able to use it. And now I'm about to share with you another plugin that you don't actually need to spend any money on. And it does exactly the same thing. Now, let me show you the plugin that we're going to use. So hover over plugins, click on add new. And here search for backup. Once you search for backup, you can see updraft is the first plugin that pops up with over 3 million active users currently. So this is a plugin that we're going to use. So go ahead and click on this install now. And then activate it. So you can see that updraft is added to the top menu. So you can go ahead and click on settings or you can scroll down, go to updraft and then click on settings. Now we need to take a backup of our current website and then restore it in our new web hosting. So in order to take a backup, go ahead and click on settings. And now we have a couple of options. I'm going to take a backup on external hard drive. And in this case, it's going to be Google Drive. So for Google Drive, you just need to have a Gmail account or Google account. And that's it. So after you set up your Google account, click on this button that says Google Drive and scroll down. Make sure all these checkboxes are ticked to take a backup of all of them. Scroll to the bottom and click on Save Changes. Now, Updraft asks you to authorize access to Google Drive so that your backups will be stored on Google Drive. Now go ahead and click on this button that says follow this link to authorize access. Now you need to sign into your Google account. Go ahead and sign into one of the accounts if you have multiple like me. Now click on allow. And when you get to this page, go ahead and click on complete setup. And as you can see, your Google account is now linked to Updraft, meaning your backups will be saved on your Google Drive. Now let's go and take a backup of our website. Already got two backups here and I'm gonna show you how you can do it as well. And after we got a backup on Google Drive, we're gonna restore this backup on our new web hosting. So in order to take a backup, go ahead and click on this button that says backup now and make sure all these checkboxes are ticked and then click on backup now and it starts taking the backup. So you can see the backup is apparently succeeded and is now complete. You should, you should be able to see the backup here. If you cannot see it, uh, click on this button that says rescan re remote storage and click OK. And you should be able to refresh and see the new backup here as well. So you can see this backup is just added to our list. Now that we have our backup, it's time to restore it on the new web hosting. Just a reminder, we have only two backups here and it's because when we were setting up our backup, we set this number to two, meaning if you take one more backup, it deletes the previous one and keeps the second one. If you wanna add this number to three or four, it's up to you. You can have more than two 
with three backups. So let's go ahead and restore our backup in the new web hosting. And this is our new website in a new web hosting. As you can see, it's a default theme and it's pretty empty. And if you're not sure which web hosting you need to go with, I'll leave a link in the description below to top five web hosting that I do recommend. I'm using Bluehost. You can choose any of them that you like. And after you set up your new website, what you need to do is to go back to the dashboard. And now we need to install the same plugin. So go ahead and click on plugins, add new. And here search for backup. Or you can search for updraft. Now we need to install updraft one more time on the new web hosting and activate. Now click on settings. You can click here or you can go to updraft and click settings. And once you go to the backup restore, you can see our updraft is not linked to our Google Drive. So we need to link it to our Google Drive. So in order to do that, we need to go to the settings. And one more time, click on Google Drive. Make sure all these checkboxes are ticked. Scroll to the bottom and click on Save Changes. And as you can see, we got this link that says follow the link to authorize access to the Google Drive. Go ahead and click on this link. And now you need to log into the same Google account that you assigned to Updraft. So select the one that you selected before and click on allow and once you get to this page click on complete setup and now you can see our google drive is linked to the updraft now we should be able to see our backups in the new web hosting as you can see when you scroll down there is no backup here in order to see the backups Go ahead and click on this button that says rescan remote storage okay and as you can see you can now see the backups now that we have access to the backup we just need to restore it to get our previous website up and running in the new web hosting in order to restore backup just click on this button that says restore and now we need to check all these boxes plugin themes uploads other and database click on next and it starts downloading the backups from the Google Drive. So once you get to this page that says backup set imported from remote location, we need to restore it. But if you see any warnings here, that's all good, not a problem. Just go ahead and click on restore button. And restore successful. Now we can log in again to our dashboard. And we're back in our dashboard again, and you can see all the plugins and all the themes and everything is all back again. Let's go back to the website and refresh it and see how it actually looks now. And boom, we have our website up and running again. As you can see, everything looks good. And we have our website back again. So this is how you can actually um, migrate your website from a local computer or from your current web hosting to a new web hosting without spending any money for free with this simple plugin. After you have your website up and running, the next thing that you need to add is the professional emails. If you have multiple emails on your previous web hosting, make sure to add them in your new web hosting. And if you're using Bluehost, make sure to check out the next video on how to create a professional email using Bluehost. If you're using other web hosting, just make sure to add those emails as well so you don't miss out the emails. If you still haven't decided which web hosting you need to go with, uh, make sure to check out the link in the description below the top five web hosting that I do recommend. You can select any one that you like. And that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I appreciate it if you tap the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and tap the little bells so you don't miss out on the next video. See you in the next one. Peace.